everyone. As it is now the beginning of November, October is gone and I'm going to film my October favourites video. I like to wait until the month is actually finished before I decide what my favourites are because I am quite last minute like that. So I'm just going to get straight in and show you the things that I loved last month. Firstly is this polo neck kind of jumper. I got this for my birthday and it's like a thin jumper or a thick top and it's long sleeved and the sleeves are actually long enough for me which is ideal for me because I do struggle to get things that are long enough. It keeps me nice and warm, it means I don't have to wear lots of thick jumpers and I can still wear dresses because it's nice to wear this under dresses. I'm considering getting a few more because I really really like this. I would possibly get it in a slightly smaller size though because this is a size 8 and it's a bit like baggy on the sleeves and round the waist but because I always wear it with things that cinch in my waist it, it's not really a problem there. So I'm not sure if I got some more that might be what I do. This is from Next, and I don't know how much it was because it was a birthday present. I have the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Deep Nourishing Intensive Mask. I love hair masks, I love the Herbal Essences ones. I used to use the L'Oreal Alviv one, but it got really expensive, and because I have long hair and quite a lot of hair, and because I dye my hair a lot, I need to use these at least once a week. And when my, particularly in the winter, I need it twice a week because my hair does get really, really bad in the winter. So I found that it's too expensive for me to be buying like full price ones because I only get like three or four uses out of one of these pots because I have so much hair. This is one that I haven't tried before. I've had the honey and apricot one and I've had the red one, but I can't remember what scent it is. But my favourite one has always been the honey one, but I decided to try the coconut one this time and it smells amazing. Also, I'm currently using this version of the shampoo and conditioner from Herbal Essences as well. So it kind of, it ties in really nicely and it doesn't mix up all the smells, which is nice to use the same ones. So I'm really, really enjoying this and as I said before, I think I've spoken about the Herbal Essences hair baths before. They are essential for me and they are absolutely brilliant. I love them. They work so well. Next up I have the Nivea Daily Essentials Express Hydration Primer and you may have seen me using this in makeup tutorials and I've had it for a while, I have been using it for a while but I went through a phase where I was using Men's Aftershave Balm from Nivea which is a really really good primer but now that it's into the winter I find that my skin is so much more sensitive and even if I use the sensitive one it's a bit too harsh for my skin but this is really really good and I've gone back to it and I use it every day now it is absolutely amazing I just put it on after my moisturiser and I completely love it it does take a couple of minutes to sink into your skin but it is amazing at making your makeup stick all day long I'm in uni all day pretty much every day. Most of the time I'm in uni, I have lectures from half nine until half six. A couple of days a week I have training and it even sticks through training and winter training can be seriously intense. So I'm really impressed with this. As I said, for switching up to autumn and fall essentials, switching out my makeup to a heavier concealer, I am loving the Miss Sporty So Clear Anti Spot Concealer at the moment. I use it every day. I always use a combination of two concealers and I'm switching up which one my second one is, but this one is my current favourite one for highlighting and generally covering up redness because it actually does reduce your spots. Like, I often found that if I got spots, I had to leave them uncovered and not conceal them at all because they would just get worse and worse and worse and be more obvious. But this stuff you can put over spots and by the end of the day they will be massively reduced and the redness is gone. So I'm so impressed with this and I think it was like 199 or 179 It really really good value. It is a little bit light and they have other versions of Miss Sporty Concealer in the same shade but they're darker as I have the So Perfect Stay by Miss Sporty and it's also in 01 light but it's a lot darker so this is really good for highlighting, but I don't know that I could actually use it all over my face because I think it would be slightly too pale for me, despite the fact that I am very pale. Two lipsticks that I have been loving were both in my autumn kind of makeup favourites essentials video, and they are two dark lipsticks. One of them is this deep berry colour from Too True, and it comes out in this pinky purpley colour, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It does go matte after a while, but it does take a little while to go matte, and it does need a couple of layers. 
This is in shade number six. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the Two True lipsticks. I find that their glossy lipsticks are awful for me and they don't stay on my face, they wear off. They end up kind of bleeding all around my mouth and I was a bit hesitant to try this but it wasn't expensive so I thought I would give it a go and just see what happened and I absolutely love it. Their matte lipstick range is amazing but the range of colours isn't excellent. I think this is the only one that I'd go and repurchase because I'm just not so sure about the others, they're all a bit lighter and when I wear lipstick I tend to wear it as a statement, I don't wear lipstick as an everyday thing. I always wear lip salve but I don't always wear lipstick so I wouldn't usually wear kind of a pale pink colour that was close to my skin tone unless I was going to an event or dressing up a little bit more for the day but for to and from uni every day I kind of just wear lip salve. The other lipstick I have been loving is another dark lipstick and this is the darkest lipstick that I own. It is this almost black deep purple and it's by collection and it's from their gothic glam collection and it's in shade number two scorned and it is this really gorgeous deep purple colour. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this. I go through a phase when it gets to like the autumn time where I like to take everything a little bit darker and my makeup goes darker and my clothing goes darker and then I kind of settle into it and then start wearing colours again. Like now I've started to go back to colour but I still keep black and darker colours in. My hair goes a darker colour and I kind of go for an almost more gothic look and I completely love my dark lipsticks. I do go through phases where I'll wear dark lipstick every day for like a week or two and then I won't wear wear any for a few weeks. I haven't worn lipstick in a week or two now and I keep looking at it and thinking I really really want to go back to wearing lipstick but going to and from uni in my department at university I would be the only one wearing lipstick and I kind of don't want to feel massively overdressed for university. We're all a bit laid back and it's kind of jeans and a t-shirt thing rather than full on makeup. Most of the girls don't actually wear makeup at all. Lastly in my makeup favourite is the Sleek Eye Divine palette in Storm 578. I have filmed a makeup tutorial on this. I absolutely love this palette. It's got the most gorgeous colours. There are a few matte colours. There's a matte black and two and a matte kind of light chocolate brown and then a dark beigey colour and the rest of the colours are all quite shimmery and sparkly and it is just a gorgeous palette. The packaging is gorgeous and the mirror inside is so useful. I love all the colours in it because they're kind of different to anything that I have but they are colours that I could wear quite easily on a daily basis. You could quite easily subtly put in some of the brighter colours in this into your everyday makeup look and I just love it. It, they're so pigmented and they're lovely to wear, they go on so well and they stay on really well as well. And you really don't need much because they are ridiculously pigmented, but they're also really easy to blend. As I've mentioned before, I love gel nail varnish because it stays on my nails better. I am a lazy girl, I don't like to have to paint my nails too often, I don't like waiting for them to dry. So gel nails are perfect for me because I can have one go, sit down for half an hour, paint my nails, dry them, and then I'm ready to go. I can do the washing up straight away, I can go and do whatever I like straight away, I can be out the door, I don't have to worry about my nails. They will be dry and done and it's just amazing. I do when gel nail varnish pretty much all the time now. It also means that I don't have to paint my nails every few days or every week. I can leave it on for a couple of weeks and then I can take it off and I find that I have to take it off. It doesn't chip and it tends to all come off in one if it does come off so it's not inconvenient. This month these have been my two favourite colours. I just changed this the other day but my two favourite colours have been these. One of these is a really really dark navy colour and the other one is a really dark grey colour and it is actually a really nice grey. It's going to sound kind of weird. You know when the road is dry? It's kind of that colour. It kind of reminds me of the road when it's dry and I, I don't know why. I really, I really love that colour. I love dark colours for autumn and most of my nail varnishes are dark colours. I usually wear dark colours so these are a perfect addition to my gel nail varnish collection. My last beauty item is this. I got this for my birthday and I have loved this scent for a long time. This is Little Black Dress from Avon and it is a really good value, amazing perfume that smells really nice. I think the regular size bottles are eight or nine pounds. 
but if you get like a gift set it's like 15 pounds and you get 200 ml bottle of body lotion and a like a regular sized body spray thing and a deodorant as well as the perfume I believe. The regular size I think is 50 ml, this is a 30 ml one and this is the special edition one which is why I'm mentioning it because the bottle is so pretty. I love it, it looks so much more expensive than it is and people always compliment me on this. It's really good that I've got one that's kind of less expensive. I do tend to go back to this one in the autumn winter time more than the summer. I don't really feel it's a summer scent because it doesn't have a floral smell but I just thought the special edition bottle was so gorgeous so I thought I would mention it in my favourites because I have been wearing this. I've switched it out from my Hugo Boss Femme which I wore a lot over the summer and I usually do. I have switched this out now and I've worn this I think every day this month when I've actually worn perfume. Something I got for my birthday that I have worn a lot is this locket and it is a heart shaped locket and it's got a little pattern on half of it and I have been wearing this quite a lot. I go through phases of wearing necklaces where I wear one necklace for a long time and I will probably wear it for like a month in one go and just wear it every day. I have been wearing this one most days for a few weeks. I haven't worn a necklace in a few days because I've been wearing kind of shirts and high neck things. I have been changing this out with another one I got for my birthday but I haven't worn that one as much because I feel like it's more of a dressy one and it also it's in gold so I feel like it's more Christmas time. But I absolutely love silver jewellery and I've always wanted a locket and this one has been amazing. I've been wearing it a lot. If you saw my recent haul video, you will know that I bought some new shoes and these are the shoes that I bought. They are absolutely gorgeous and they're so ridiculously comfortable. They have a buckle here, they're kind of like brogue style shoes and they fold over and they are just absolutely gorgeous and they're so comfortable and they were only like £6.50, £7 and I think they're just such good value. They are from Truffle and I bought them on Amazon. They do have a bit of a habit of squeaking when you walk like this. It doesn't always do it, it really confuses me but I love the buckle detail on them, I think it's really cute. I think they're a nice feminine take on a kind of masculine trend and I have always wanted a pair of brogues but I've always wanted more feminine ones and I think these are just such a nice feminine take on that and I love that they're patent rather than matte so I absolutely adore these and they go with absolutely everything. If you follow me on feels you will know I've been wearing these so much recently. <laughs> lastly and second to lastly because this is actually two things, I bought myself a MacBook Pro. It kind of fell just after my birthday. It just so happened that it was the time when I was going back to uni and it was the end of summer so I'd earned the money to buy it and I bought myself a MacBook Pro and I am absolutely loving it. I don't go anywhere without it anymore. It's so ridiculously useful and I've lived without having a laptop that's actually portable for such a long time and I thought I'm not going to need it that much, it'll be fine, I can live without a laptop, I'll just put it off and I'm so annoyed that I didn't buy one sooner now that I have it because it has been amazing for doing my third year and I need a laptop all the time, I need to be able to write stuff on the go, it's great for lectures, it's just great because I used to write all my notes but I really struggle with writing, I get extra time in exams because I have trouble writing, I have problems with my wrists and my thumbs and typing is just so much easier and I never realised how much better it was for me until I got this laptop and it has just been amazing and totally worth the money, I know MacBooks are expensive I had to save up all summer to be able to buy it but I bought it with all of my own money and I am so pleased with it. It is definitely one of my favourites this month and probably will be for the rest of time. My other favourite that relates to this one is this case. It is a floral print envelope style case and it's got a spotted print inside and you can flip it out and it can be reversible so if you feel like having a bit of a change you can have it the other way around which is brilliant. It's just great, it's really convenient and it fits perfectly and the reason for this is because I made this case and I made it to exactly the size that I wanted it to be because I did have a case which was for my old MacBook so I decided to leave that case with that one because the case is bigger and my old MacBook was bigger. It's one of the retro old white ones. Also that case was inconvenient for my handbag, it didn't really fit properly. So 
I decided to make one to the perfect size that also fits really nicely into my handbag and it's got lining in it so it's nice and protected and it's just really convenient. So those were all my favourites from last month. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I've loved. If you want to see close-up photos of all of these items, then check out my blog. I wrote a post about it and it is linked below. And also below are all of my other links to my social media, like Twitter and Instagram. So go and check those out and give me a follow. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. And I will see you again soon. Bye!